everybody. Welcome to The Winkle. I am Allison and this is my daughter Josie and today we are making fingerprint creatures. I am so excited for this project today. It is a fun science project because we're going to be looking at our fingerprints and it's also a great art project because we're going to be making little creatures out of our fingerprints and I brought along my daughter who's an amazing artist today and she's going to help us get some great ideas for our fingerprint creatures. Shall we see what's in our kit? Yeah. Two pieces of drawing paper, ink pad, three colored markers, and googly eyes. Ooh, I love those googly eyes. I think googly eyes make everything look like they're alive and staring at you. Okay, on top of everything in your kit, if you wanna glue on those googly eyes, you're gonna need some glue or a glue stick, and then you might wanna grab like a wet towel or wet paper towel or tissue to wipe the ink off your fingers, because after all, we're gonna be getting our fingers all messy. Inky. Yeah. Yeah. All right, <laughs> and once you have all that, we're ready to get started. Okay, before we start, I wanna talk about our fingerprints, because that is what we're studying today. Yes. Is our fingerprints. So Very. let's see your fingerprints. Very special. Yes, in fact, fingerprints are so special because every fingerprint you have and every fingerprint any human being has ever, ever, that's ever lived, that's living right now, or ever will live, has a different fingerprint. How special. We are all so special right here on our fingertips. So what are the different types of fingerprints people have? I don't know. <laughs> There's loop whirl and arch. Let's take a look at mine. We have um, a loop right here because it has that loop right there. An arch. Ooh, these are hard to detect. Let's see yours. Mine is like a loop but then it has like an arch over it. So even though everybody has a certain type of fingerprint, all the fingerprints are unique and special. So let's check out our fingerprints today. We are going to be making first birds on a wire. So birds that are sitting on a telephone wire and we're going to make two or three lines, it's up to you. They're kind of arching like that. You know how telephone wires are kind of sagging, okay? You wanna make sure there's enough room between each line for your little birdies. And you're gonna take your fingers. Now this is an important part because this can get really messy. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Point your finger, dip it in the green ink pad right here, press it in the green ink pad, and then I'm gonna press it on my wire. Now I wanna make sure it's gonna look like the body of my bird is sitting on the wire. I'm gonna press it nice and firm. Don't move your fingerprint once it's down. You can just jiggle it a little bit, but if you move it like this, then your fingerprint will smear. So Josie got a fingerprint kind of like this. And that is not what her fingerprint actually looks like. It's not even a fingerprint. <laughs> so let's try again. Put the ink, but you have to press it really hard in your ink pad. Really hard. And then you're going to press it onto your wire. Kind of jiggle your finger back and forth. Press it really hard. Press, press, press like you're pushing that paper onto the table. And then lift off. Yeah, that's much better. Now what would happen if we put our green fingertip and put it in our yellow ink? Yuck. Yeah, that would ruin our yellow ink. It would never be yellow after that. It would make a nice greenish yellow color, but yeah. then we'd never have yellow ink. Good thing so, we have many more fingers. You want to, that's exactly right. You want to wash off your green fingertip after you've done all your green birds, or you can also use your other fingers, which is really special too, because each fingerprint is different and special. So you could remember, okay, this is gonna be my green fingertip, and then my middle finger is gonna be my yellow fingertip. All right, and I'm gonna take my pinky finger, so this will be my smallest bird. Now, if you're a little kid, of course, your fingers are gonna be a lot smaller than mine and Josie's. So what you do for your pinky especially is you kind of roll it side to side like this. And then when you press down on your card, kind of roll it side to side and up and down. And that way your fingerprint will be a little bit bigger on your card. Fingerprint, 
fingerprints, is there like rare fingerprints or? Yes, there is a double whirl. If you have a double whirl on your fingerprint, that's rare. That was really special. And let me know if you have a double whirl. I want to see it. When you're done with your fingerprints on your wire, make sure to wash your fingerprints off because you don't want them to smudge and smear on your pretty white paper. Have you ever seen exotic birds? Yes, I have. You have indeed. And one of them tried to make a nest out of my brother's hair. So do you remember Grant <laughs> that's on some of these videos? He has blonde <laughs> curly hair. And when he was about three years old, his hair was like really like... Oh, uh, like chunky. a yeah, <laughs> chunky. It's like a nest. And so we went to go visit Larrakeets on our way on a road trip that we were on. They had this Larrakeet yeah, sanctuary this weird place out in the middle of nowhere. It had like ostriches and yeah, birds. And these Larrakeets are like green and yellow and red and purple. They're so pretty. So pretty. But we were all feeding them with our little food cups and these Larrakeets thought Grant's head was a nest and they were just all coming over to his head and landing on his they head. They were like ripping out his hair. They're like, mm. And Grant was just like, ah! <laughs> I think we got a few pictures of it. Actually. Those are good times. Okay, so we're gonna make like exotic looking birds. So think about what your the exotic. Larrakeets. Yeah, think about what your exotic looking bird could look like. It doesn't have to look like a normal bird. It could have curly feathers coming from top of its head. It could have straight feathers coming out from its side. Now you can make eyes out of um, your markers or you can make eyes from the googly eyes. So use your imaginations with these birds on a wire. It's art, so you can make it however you want. Just have fun with it and play with it. There's no such thing as mistakes. Beautiful, right? Very decorative. Very uh, decorative. Very artistic. We're gonna go with that. Yes. Okay, so we're ready to put on our googly eyes. Just a little daub of glue is all you need for these little tiny bird eyes. Dot, dot, not a lot. That's right. Make some of your birds like their profile, you know, just like you only see one of their eyes. Side view. Yeah, side view, what she said. I love it, I love it, I love it. Our birds are on a wire and they're full of personality. So is my cyborg chicken. <laughs> cyborg chicken. We're gonna start now on our second piece of paper and just having fun with it, maybe making monsters or bugs or butterflies, whatever you guys wanna make, have fun with your other- Butterflies. Yeah, butterflies. Mm -hmm. Guys, we cannot wait to see what you came up with. If you have a grown up, take a picture of your artwork today and post it on social media. Tag us at the Winkle Crate and that way we can see what you made. We would love to see it and see how you did on your art today. Have fun everybody, bye. Bye.